What is up you guys, Jordan here, and today we are doing another outfit recreation video. So if you saw in my last one, which you can see right up here, I did Harry Styles. I loved it, it seems like you guys liked it as well. So today we'll be doing Peaky Blinders. Now Peaky Blinders is pretty much like my favorite TV show ever. I kind of wish that I was born back then so I could be a gangster. I can't be a gangster now, obviously, but you know, if they looked as stylish as they did back then, I might join the crew. <laughs> No, but honestly, I just love that era. I love that style. I just love how people kind of dressed up without, you know, people thinking they're trying too hard or whatever. They just wore suits casually and they did whatever they wanted casually, but they dressed up and looked, you know, their best all the time. So I really just love that style and it has to do with suits. And if you guys know me for any amount of time, I love suits. I love three-piece suits. I love suits with ties. Um, I also love, you know, the more fashion, modern, contemporary suiting, but Vintage suiting with ties, my favorite. So as a disclaimer, a lot of these outfits are just gonna be suits and the whole show has a lot of suits in it. So there's only so many things you can do and so many characters you can recreate with suits. And I only have a certain amount of suits. <laughs> but with that being said, I've got four outfits from the Shelby family, but some stuff that you wanna consider for Peaky Blinders outfits, costume or not. Um, a pocket watch. I wear pocket watches with my suits all the time just because I like the look and it actually tells time instead of a normal watch and it looks cool. So they all wore po pocket watches. You need a pocket watch. Cufflinks because they didn't have a lot of buttons back then. They wore a lot of cufflinks in their shirt sleeves. It just keeps the sleeves closed and it looks classy and looks cool. And for me, I don't know if they wear this in the show, but it's just something that I like to do one single signet ring on the pinky, a little pinky ring. I personally have a finger handful of rings, but for this, we're just using a little tiny ring on the pinky. And of course, you cannot be a Peaky Blinder without the Peaky Blinder cap. This is called a newsboy cap, so this will be featured in a lot of the outfits as well. So without further ado, let's just jump into the outfits. So first up, we have politician Tommy. For this, you're gonna need a blue suit, a blue shirt, some black brogues, and some glasses and a tie obviously but really with this one you kind of just want to look a lot more formal he wanted to be taken seriously you want to be taken seriously but also you want to have a little bit of that badass sense still about you because you want people to know okay this guy means business so we just have a classic tailored blue suit a nice blue shirt with a white collar contrast and you know, Tommy wore a striped tie, but I liked this champagne colored one to go with the color of the suit. Other than that, it's all pretty self-explanatory. Next, we have Gangster Tommy. For this, we're gonna use a gray suit some black brogues, a blue tie, and a newsboy cap. This is the outfit that everybody knows Tommy in. This is where he means business. He's shooting people, he's killing people, he's doing his thing. The newsboy cap is one of the staples of the Peaky Blinders crew. Also, if you notice, all these suits are going to be three-piece suits. If you're gonna buy a suit, guys, Get it as a three piece if you can because you can do so many things with it and it just looks so much more put together and so much more badass. Here we have Michael Gray. We're gonna need a pinstripe suit, a white shirt, a nice tie. Now Michael Gray really wanted to be taken seriously. He kind of has his influences from America as well. He really wants to be seen as a businessman. Yes, he gets his hands dirty with the family business, if you will. But other than that, he really wants to run things. So he wants to be taken seriously with a nice power pinstripe suit and that's what I went with this and that's one underlying theme for Michael it's power so he represents that in his suits and also his attitude towards the business mm -hmm. 
And last but not least, we have John Shelby. Poor guy. I'm gonna go with a brown suit, a brown striped shirt, a red tie, newsboy cap, and boots. Really all of them wore boots, but this is the only one where I had boots that went with the suit. Uh, once again, one of my favorite outfits, to be honest with you. I'll wear this all over the place. I see John more as like the outdoorsy hunter kind of guy. Gets his hands dirty with everything. So the boots are a nice touch to that kind of outfit. He also wears his hat really crooked to the side. But don't get it wrong. You know, John may have messed up a little bit with a spoiler alert here and getting his ass killed, but other than that, he dresses really well and has some pretty cool style while doing it. There you guys have it. There are some Peaky Blinder recreation outfits. I'm telling you, Peaky Blinders and BBC, Netflix, if you see this, hit your boy up. I could be an English, uh, American, I should say, gangster that wants to join uh, the Peaky Blinders or something like that. We could have an um, American English crossover. I think it could be something special. I think it could be something special. Or BBC if you want to do an American gangster movie. Let me know. I'm here. But uh, regardless, I, this is basically just how I wear suits in general anyways. So Peaky Blinders and just that era of suiting and dressing. It's kind of just what resonates with me the most. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know there's only four outfits. I know there's only four suits, uh, but in reality, there's only so many things you can do with a show where all they wear is suits. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gave you some inspiration or just, just liked the video in general. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see the other outfit recreation video I did with Harry Styles, it'll be right up there. And I've got a bunch more coming in this kind of series, if you will, from all the uh, comments in the last video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be talking to you soon. All right, bye. And stay safe, wear your mask.